Today, we're going to look at adding a sticky add to cart to your Shopify store. We'll have a version for mobile, a version for desktop, and you won't need to install any apps. So this is something you install once and you won't need to clutter your theme or your code with any apps that are just slowing things down or charging you every month. All right, so let's take a look. So we're taking a look at our demo store here. And um, right now it's in its uh, default form. I've made a couple of customizations on this page, like these image swatches and and um, the, the sale badge and uh, adding these style variants. And you can see how I added those all in, in previous videos. Uh, but for today, we're going to look at sticky add to cart. So right now, that doesn't exist. And normally, you'd probably add an app or something like that in order to bring that in that functionality in place. Uh, but we're going to do this uh, without adding an app. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually just jump straight into the code editor. So I already have this open. And you're going to look for a uh, file called main product, not liquid. And so that's going to be this file here. And we're going to be adding a snippet into here. So first, we need to actually create that snippet, make a snippet. OK, so we're just going to paste our code in there. And this code has some HTML and some CSS to style it. Particularly, the CSS has um, some styling for mobile and desktop, so it shows up a little bit different. Uh, but we'll see that once well, we save and uh, just refresh the page. So we're going to save that. And we're going to come back to our main product.liquid file. And we're going to kind of look for a, uh, a block after this product form. So um, you're going to see all this sort of indentation kind of coming in here. Uh, but it's, uh, it's this product info, uh, this whole section is sort of a product info section. So we're just going to look for where they close it. So right there. So that's the end of that. And we can throw it in somewhere around here. So there's this kind of space right here. So I like to throw, uh, I like to just add it right here. And so in order to use it, we're going to uh, just, we have a little bit of a comment here, right? So this is how we use it. Just write this line right there, copy and paste that, and render this uh, sticky add to cart custom. So we're just going to go ahead and save that. And now we can refresh our page and see what happens. So right now we've got our add to cart. And if we scroll down, we should see something pop up here, right? So we've got that pop up. And uh, we've got this little space here. So I'll, I'll uh, fix that in a second. Um, but what's happening here is it's waiting until the add to cart button comes off screen. And then once it's off screen, then it will show up. Um, and then the same thing if we go to mobile. So if we kind of go inspect in the mobile version. Uh, we've got the add to cart button there, and if we once we scroll past it, the uh, sticky add to cart will pop up at the bottom. And you see here, it's, it comes from the bottom instead of the top, and the formatting is a little bit different, right? Because you know, obviously, the screen sizes are different. So, um, yeah, so we've got we've got in this case a uh, uh, the mobile version. So we've got the image and and the details, and if we come back to our desktop, we've got the details uh, in a line right here. And if we want to add to cart, <clears throat> then we've added the product to cart. And that's essentially it. It's it's styled similarly to how the rest of the page looks. And so um, I'm pretty happy with how this looks so far. Now, if you have a sticky menu bar, um, then you might actually want it to kind of come down a little bit further. But in this case, we haven't done that. so. We're going to want to bring this, close up that gap. So we can come back to our code. And uh, in the CSS, we're just going to look for the word top. So top should be highlighted um, right here. So 45 pixels. Um, so this is going to be for the version where uh, the screen width is 750 pixels 
or greater. Um, so this typically is going to be maybe more of a, a tablet or, or, or something like that. Um, so let's just change that to zero. And then we're also going to change this uh, wider screens here, 990 pixels, to zero as well. So we're going to save that. And we can refresh. And we should hopefully see this come down right there at the right at the top of the page. And so there we go. We've got our sticky add to cart. Now, we've got one extra thing that we might want to change. So if your products don't have any different pricing for variants, then um, you're fine. Or if you don't actually care to show this savings percentage here, then you're also fine. But in our case, because we're in an apparel store um, in this example, and we have different pricing for extra small and let's say 3XL, right? So this goes up to $30 and uh, $30 down from 45, which changes as well the, the uh, discount percentage. So all these numbers change. But if we come down here, you're going to see it's still the original one. And so what happens is it's only going to load once, but if you change the variant, it's not going to update, not yet at least. And so only if I refresh, and come down, you're going to see it's been updated 4530. But if we switch back to another variant with a cheaper price, it's still going to show that value. So how do we change this? Well, what's happening here is Shopify already has some built-in JavaScript where if you change the variant, it's going to look for new pricing, look for new images, and update that information. Right? So if we, um, if we changed our shirt to red, we also just see black here. So it's it's uh, none of this information is being updated because we haven't linked it to that JavaScript yet. So we're going to do that now. In order to do that, we're going to go back to our code and we're going to open up the global.js file. And so this is where a lot of the JavaScript in the Dawn theme is, is being held. And there's a lot of cool functionality that's happening here, including um, when we update, when, when we click on one of these variants, it knowing to change the color of the shirt or changing the price of the product. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to plug right into that JavaScript and make use of the logic that already exists for our sticky add to cart so that we don't have to you know, invent anything new. We're just using what already exists. Um, so. The first thing we're going to look for is the update media uh, function. So let's just search for that, right? So um, that's where it's being called right here, update media. And we're going to just add a little bit of code right bef um, before it ends. And so we're just going to add this right here. And so this. Um, this is the uh, what's this is how the images are being updated uh, on the product page normally, and so we're just going to plug right in and say, well, when the new variant gets clicked, not only are you going to update the images on the product page, but you're also going to update the image on the sticky at the cart, and so that's the first update we're making, and then the second update we're going to make is the uh, render product info. OK, so right here. So in this case, um, it's doing something very similar. It's uh, looking for a change in the variant. And if it notices there's a change in variant, then it's going to update all this pricing information, uh, which we're also going to want to update with our sticky add to cart. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just copy and paste this code here. Into the function. So we're just going to throw that right there and um, add some formatting. And we're going to save. OK, so this is doing a couple things, right? So it's grabbing the. Uh, the compared at price is grabbing the regular price. It's making a calculation, right? So we can figure out what the discount percentage is. 
and then it's updating the values in the sticky add to cart. And so if we refresh this, then we should be seeing, uh, let's see, we're on at 3XL, $30, uh, normal price, 45 compared at, uh, and a green shirt. And that's what we're seeing here. So if we update this to a black shirt, it should be 30, 45, and oh, let's actually change it to a small. So 25, 40, black. And we're seeing 25, 40, black shirt, uh, and the calculation being updated. We can also take a look at the mobile version. So we can jump down here, right? So we've got the black shirt, 25, 40, 38%. And if we change it back to a red and a 3XL, so the price changes, the color of the shirt changes. We've got our red shirt here, $30, 45, uh, 3XL. Yeah, all of the details are update, updating properly. We've got our mobile versions. We've got our desktop version of the sticky at the cart. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple customization that any of you can add to your store. And um, the best part is we don't need to add any apps uh, that slow down your website or, or charge you every month. And so if uh, that helps, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, just add them below as well. And I'll see you in the next one.